Alright guys, what is going on? I'm Tubby Emu. After the biggest match once in a lifetime, we finally get to figure out after a year's wait who came out victorious. Now last night at WrestleMania, I was watching it with five people. And we were all sitting around the 60 inch flat screen and I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Now, yes, most of the time the, the match was a finisher party. It was back and forth. A lot of people say they were mad about it. It was boring. Now, listen, I know a lot of my subs are getting pissed and angry with this. I am a huge John Cena fan. Trust me. Tr absolutely trust me. But I also realize the WWE has been absolutely struggling with ratings, pay-per-view buys, everything as of late. And as much as I hate to say this, you know, because Rock just leaves and go does movies... There was a reason Rock had to win last night. And I, right off the bat, I know a lot of people are going to be mad, guys. You know I'm a huge John Cena fan. I love the man. I have posters of him. And I'm a 20-year-old male. Um, <laughs> growing up, Rock was my favorite. Nowadays, John Cena is my favorite because, you know, what he stands for, everything he does for the company. Um, but at the same time... You know, when I, when I was thinking about this match, I'm like, all right, this is this is going to be like, you know, Hogan versus Rock. Hogan is going to put Rock over, and then I thought, here, Rock is going to put John Cena over. And, you know, I read all the predictions. I think I read probably close to 30 predictions when I was trying to make mine on who I thought was going to win. And, you know, people were saying that if Rock won, you know, there would be emphasis for him to stay around. And if Cena won... Why would The Rock stick around? There's no reason for him to. And I dismissed that. I was thinking so much about John Cena getting put over and, you know, finally seeing that sign of respect where they shake hands and Rock celebrates with him in his hometown so the crowd doesn't completely boo, that I totally realized that if, from a WWE standpoint, a business standpoint, one, you don't want to do what everybody thinks is going to do, what everybody thinks they're going to do. Um, so I applaud him for this. Because I didn't see it coming personally. Um, and basically, the angle they're going with, especially in WWE.com and some of the stories, is you know, it's his own arrogance, it's his own cockiness that got him in trouble for trying to steal the Rock's finisher. And that's what cost him the match. Uh, if he would have just picked him up and did a signature finisher of his own, he could have finished the Rock, and that's what the story was saying. And it, to me, I agree with that. Um, but the way it ended... You know how Rock looked completely passed out, and then from the STFU, and then gets up, and then Rock bottoms him out of nowhere for the win. Was just, I was blown out of my seat when we were sitting there. We all jumped like whoa, like we all thought he was gonna kick out. We every single one of us was absolutely shocked. And coming as a John Cena fan, I was pissed. I was like, really, really, Rock, you have that much ego that you can't just put over John Cena. And I realized because, you know, everybody's been talking about Rock and how, you know, he's been taking people's spot at WrestleMania. First of all, if you didn't get to WrestleMania, you did something wrong and you weren't doing something right enough. And I, I failed to overlook that. So if for those of you guys who keep saying and getting very mad because so many people on my Facebook and Twitter are pissed about Cena losing. Uh, and then I played an April Fool's joke on him, said he was retiring. It was a bad joke, but... Um, Rock had to win this match for the sake of the WWE, and we'll definitely find out by how many pay-per-view buys we get um, once they release that information. Then, if Rock has already said he's going to be a part of WrestleMania 29 next year, if he was to lose in his hometown in the biggest match of a century, there's no reason for him to come back. Cena already said no matter what happens, he'll be here. He'll be in the WWE come Monday, blah, blah, blah. So he didn't need this win necessarily. Um, and I think, you know, especially with the rumors about Brock or Batista, and, you know, you lost The Undertaker now, who's probably going to go away. You have Triple H and HBK who are going to go away. You're still lacking star power on the shows. This way we at least get some possible hope of a SummerSlam match. Maybe it's a two out of three. Maybe Brock faces Rock at SummerSlam like people are speculating. Um, I just... I want to know what you guys think because so many people are mad. And I just, please, guys, if you were absolutely pissed with the WWE, they threw a curveball at us that people didn't expect. And don't don't go and burn down the building or don't stop watching. I think it actually makes it 
a little bit more interesting, and that is just my personal opinion as a WWE fan. Um, I wanted Cena to win, absolutely praised Cena, and then he goes out and doesn't win. But in the end, guys, it's all for a better cause. If this gets more attention in the WWE, it brings in more people, more action. I fully support it because um, the ratings have been slipping, and all we need to do is, you know, if they go and cut something because the ratings slipping, you know, if you're Vince, you got to say, I got to do everything I can to draw interest back in the company. And I'm guessing Rock being around is gaining interest in the company, guys. That is just my opinion. So if you are mad because Cena lost cast, don't worry about it. Cena will be champion again. Tubby out.